the numbers in the emergency admission rooms are going up. The Nairobi Hospital has in the last 48 hours admitted an increased number of COVID-19 patients presenting with a dreaded Delta variant. This raises concern of realization of the fourth wave, even though there are no severe cases yet. In Nairobi, most of the admissions in most of the hospitals about a month ago had gone down to very minimum single-digit numbers. But right across most of them now, the numbers are up and they are definitely on the rise. So the modeling and the statistics confirm that the Delta variant is spreading rapidly in the community and we expect the numbers to rise. Dr. Robin Mogere, a consultant urologist at Nairobi Hospital, while noting the ignorant behavior of Kenyans, says the nation may soon face the fourth wave. It's a distinct possibility because if the measures that have been applied so far in controlling the spread are not maintained, wearing of masks in public places, avoiding crowding areas, and uh, social distancing and sanitizing at every opportunity, the numbers will go up. That's the nature of the virus. Dr. Mogere, together with Metropolitan Hospitals Management, where he serves as board chairman, joined the industrialization cabinet secretary, Betty Miner, in launching an oxygen plant at the facility. Before COVID, we are using 20 cylinders a day. When COVID was at its peak, we went to 80 cylinders a day. So you can see the, the difference in demand because of increased patients and the fact that uh, COVID patients require more, a higher amount of oxygen to pass through the barrier that the virus creates. The hospital's chief executive officer, Dr. Kanyenje Gakombe, says with a plant and a cylinder refilling unit, five extra hospitals in the region could benefit from the facility's oxygen production, but only on normal demand. What we've done is that by piping oxygen to critical areas, it means that now with 10 cylinders, we can supply 40 patients. So the other cylinders can be used elsewhere in the country. I'm very excited that Kenyan industry uh, responded to our call to manufacture some of these critical medical commodities since last year. And we've made great strides. Earlier in the day, Kenya received 182,400 doses of the AstraZeneca Oxford COVID-19 vaccine from France. This particular dose is going to go a long way to ensure that those who got their first dose get their second dose. Kenya is doing extremely well in terms of its vaccination drive and we are delighted that we are seeing more countries donate vaccines so that we can reach vaccine equity. According to COVID-19 Vaccine Deployment Task Force Chairman Dr. Willy Sakwale, the government targets to vaccinate 200,000 Kenyans by end of next week bringing the total number of people vaccinated with a second dose to 700,000. The installation of oxygen plants in health facilities is a crucial investment during the coronavirus pandemic period, and longevity of these machines shall determine oxygen availability for patients in need, not only during the pandemic, but also to satisfy usual demands. Ben Kiriraki, 24, Nairobi.